हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अभिषेक बघेरवाल वेलकम टू सेल्स फोर्स ओमनी स्टूडियो कोर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन टॉक अबाउट पब्स ऑफ इवेंट्स इन ओमनी स्टूडियो फ्लैक्स कार्ड सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज व्हाई डू वी नीड पब्स ऑफ इवेंट्स इन फ्लैक्स कार्ड सो लेट से ऑन अ रिकॉर्ड पेज यू हैव क्रिएटेड टू फ्लैक्स कार्ड एंड यू वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल द डेटा ऑन अ कार्ड बेस्ड ऑन सम अदर फ्लैक्स कार्ड एक्शन सो लेट से टू कार्ड्स यू हैव एंड ऑन वन कार्ड you have some uh, filter list and on another card you are getting the records based on that filter so that way you can you can use the pubs of event there to do that filtration okay so i'm just going to show you a small example of how you can uh, use the pubs of events between two flex cards and how data basically pass on from one flex card to another flex card so let's go to our omni studio so this is uh, i have one flex card that is test pub sub and here i have one flex card that is a sample account so this one would be my source flex card and this one would be my destination or we can say this this one would be my publisher and this one would be my subscriber or listener okay so let's start with uh, uh, putting an action over here so i'll just to remove this one as it has already been there i'll go to build and i'll just drag an action over here i'll just change the name of uh, let's say click me okay and on click of this let's uh, uh, first give it as display as button okay so now on click of this button i want to perform some action i want to do this pub sub event call basically so i'll just go to actions section over here and in the action type i will select the event okay and in the event type i'm going to select pub sub now let's give a channel name so let's say test pub sub event or not event channel okay now let's give the event name also so let's just give test pub sub event okay now let's configure some parameters that we want to pass on so i'm just saying some record id i will pass and for now i will just give let's say for this account id okay once that is done i'll just leave it here and let's give the button variant also okay looking good now this is the part we have uh, configured from the publisher side now let's go to our listener side or subscriber side so this flex card what is uh, basically it is doing so let me just to give you the preview so let's say if i have this account id let's wait for uh, its configuration okay now in the test parameters i'm just giving the value of this account id once you will add it you will see the information of that particular account over here name phone website primary contact if it's there so those kind of values will be coming so in our example what i am trying to do i am sending a static value of a record id that is this record only okay and uh, on click of this button i will be changing the id of uh, this account so on click of that button this account gets changed so initially if i put this flex card on any of the account record pages it will showcase the that that account only the details of that account only on which record it is there when i will click on that button it will pass that static id and instead of that account it will start showing this account id this account information which i have passed on from my publisher flex card okay now let's configure this listener so i'll just go back to design i will come back to setup 
and under the setup settings i'll create a event listener now here event type would be pub sub and i will give the channel name similar which i have given on the source flex card and similar event name record index i'm gonna keep zero but you can change based upon your json which uh, json index you want to do some modification with okay so in our case i'm gonna keep it zero now here action would be uh, action type we need to provide so that would be in my case update no not update omni script i need to select the card so basically i want to make the changes on the card so what i want to do whether i want to remove reload select card set values or update data source in our case as i said i want to showcase the information of the account of which id i am passing from my source flex card so i'm going to say update data source so as you can see this flex card is using an integration procedure that is the, this integration procedure sample get account de contact details and uh, by which value it is fetching the details based on the account id so value as of now it is the record id so here i am gonna say action dot record id record id why i am not changing because here also i have given the record id so that is going to remain the same but i need to provide the action so basically what it will did what it will do it will get that record id or whatever parameter is you are passing from your source flex card it will get that parameter value using this action dot parameter name okay and it will pass on to this key value and based on that it will fetch the record details okay so once this is done i have to save it from here now here the thing to remember is this save will not work okay you have to save it first from here once this is done then save it from here now it is saved okay now let's uh, uh, activate these flex card and let's put these flex card on the account pages and let's see whether it works or not so let me activate this one and simultaneously let me activate this one i will be publishing it as well and similar for this one so this one is published this one also published now let's go to our account record page and let's edit the page to put these flex cards on the record screen so from the left side from the components i'll select the flex card i will put it here and one more flex card okay so now let's select our flex card so our flex card is test pub sub first one and second one is our sample account only okay let's save it let's go back to the record page now let's first see what uh, this card is doing so i am on the express logistics account so it is showing the information of this account if i go to some other account it will show the information of that account so whichever account i am on it will show that information of this account now from my publisher flex card i am passing the value of this account specifically express logistics okay so here it is fine let's go to this account so on click of this button what it will do it will pass on this account id of uh, this record to this flex card so this flex card will start showing the information of express logistics so let's hit this button so as you can see it has reloaded and now it is not uh, showing the information of this account instead it is showing the information of this account that means whatever per, uh, value of the record id we have passed from this flex card has been reached to this flex card and it has reloaded the value as we have done the update of um, uh, integration procedure update of data source basically now let's try this on this account as well so okay 
it is uh, already fetched let's uh, refresh it one more time okay currently it is dickinson pac and once i click it it changes to express logistics and transport so that means our data is passing between two flex cards okay now there is one condition using this pubsub event your flex cards should either be on the same page or under the same application then only this communication between these uh, between two flex cards is going to work using the pub sub communication so uh, this is how you can configure the pub sub events in flex card wherever you need uh, to do the uh, to do some uh, changes on some other flex card based on the action you are performing on some other flex card okay one one of the uh, examples could be on one flex card you have some uh, pick list and based on the value you are selecting on this pick list you want to modify the fetched records on some other flex card so that could be a possible uh, implementation of uh, using pub sub event in flex cards so that was all about this video please uh, uh, 